Madam Speaker, let's be clear. This bill isn't creating laws that don't already exist. These laws are laid out in our Constitution, developed by our founders, and included in the Bill of Rights. There, it says we are protected from excessive force by our government. And necessary, necessary is defined in this bill. Madam Speaker, may I read the definition from the bill summary? Please proceed. Necessary is defined to mean that a reasonably effective alternative to the use of deadly force does not exist. Madam Speaker, had this important definition been in place before, the video I saw of a man who had failed to pay a $3.50 bus fare, who was nonviolent, who was tackled and choked, causing bus delays and unnecessarily wasted 30 or more commuters' valuable time and income, and cost the city and county hundreds of thousands of dollars in the unnecessary response from 13 officers and seven vehicles, not to mention the cost of the delays to the transit agency. Had this definition been in place, that would not have happened. And had this definition been in place, Eric Garner, who was killed for selling cigarettes, might be alive today. George Floyd might have had a more reasonable and proportional response for using a counterfeit $20 bill, and he might be alive today. Tamir Rice might be alive today. Rodney King might be alive today. Manuel Ellis might be alive today. And our community members, who I hear from every day, may not have lost so much trust in law enforcement. Law enforcement who solemnly swears in the oath that they take to serve honestly and faithfully and to bear true faith and allegiance to the United States of America and the state of Washington to uphold the Constitution, the Constitution that says we are protected from excessive force by our government. This is preserving and protecting human life, the most fundamental value of our law enforcement. Please vote yes for accountability, for restoring trust, and to save lives. 